Hello, it's Dr. Triple Seven, and in today's video, I will be showing you guys how to flash mods to your Nexus 5. So obviously, in order for this to work, you're going to need a Nexus 5 that has an unlocked bootloader as well as a custom recovery installed. If your phone's rooted and you have a custom ROM or anything along those lines, you're already good to go. Now if you have no idea what I'm talking about or you're kind of new to the whole Android rooting scene, I will have a link in the description below to a great video on how to unlock, root, and install a custom recovery on your Nexus 5 in about 5 to 10 minutes. Now once your phone has meet the requirements, you're all good to go. Now the mods we'll be flashing are the mods from the 4.4 Plus Candy Shop. This is a forum on the XD website that is constantly being updated pretty much every other day with more and more mods. These mods affect everything from the lock screen ring on your phone to my personal favorite which is the soft key mods. All these mods have links to the download right below them and they all work the same to flash them. So what you want to do is have your Nexus 5 with you, make sure it has a decent amount of charge in there as well. Um, take that, plug it into your computer, and what you want to do is download the mod of your choice. So me personally, I went ahead and downloaded the soft key mod, which is this big one right here. Personally, I love the soft key mods. So download one that you want to do and download it to your computer, and then copy it over to the root of your phone. So just download this, just copy it, head over to the Nexus 5 or wherever your phone may be, and then go ahead and just paste it anywhere on the phone. The next thing you want to do is go into the Play Store, um, either on your phone or on the website here, and just install a Zip Themer. So like I said, off the Play Store, so go ahead and install that, and you're good to go. Now, if you're not running a custom version of Android, a custom ROM, you'll all, you all also have to download one more file which is the KitKat stock EDIF zip file, right, which is right here, right on the form. Make sure you download that if you are running stock Android. If you have a custom version of Android, like a custom ROM, make sure that ROM file is on your phone right now, like the actual flashable zip file, because um, zip theme requires it to scan and be compatible with your phone. So like I said, if you do not have a custom ROM, make sure you download this one and put it on your phone. If you have a custom ROM, make sure that zip file is on the phone, ready to go. Now once you have all the files that you need, like the, the mods you want, the flashable zip file for either stock Android or your ROM, and zip themer installed, we are ready to go to our phone. Alright, so before we get started, I'd like to say my navigation bars at the bottom there are shrunk because I shrunk them myself. If you flash soft keys like me, they will not be that small. They're that small because I shrunk them and your soft keys will stay the same no matter what, even if you flash the custom ones. So what you want to do is open up Zip Themer and press the menu button in the top right hand corner and then press the one pretty much in the middle, the update. So what you want to do now is click browse and what you want to find is either your ROM file or the file that you downloaded if you have stock Android, that EDIF file. So for me, mine's Droid King, so I selected that. And then what you want to do is just click Configure, and you should see success. And just back out, plus the, pro the plus theme, and then find your mod file that you want to flash. So for me, it's the soft keys, which I highly suggest. They're really cool looking. And what you can do now is press the output if you want, and choose where it's going to output to. Or you can just hit Build. By default, it will put it in the root of your phone. Now, an undo file is something really cool. An undo file is a file that it creates to undo the mod that you just modded on. I would highly suggest clicking always. That way, it always creates the undo file. And by doing that, if you ever don't like the mod anymore or just want to try something else, you can go on, flash the undo file, and it'll get rid of it. So once you're done, boot into recovery. And if you've ever flashed a file or a ROM before, it's the exact same thing. Do not worry. It's very simple. So boot into Clockwork or whatever you use. Go to Install Zip. 
then click zip from SD card. And if you left it on, the, if you didn't change the output, it's on the root of your hard drive, which is really easy to find. And you can see at the bottom there that I have an update and an undo. The update flashes the mod, the undo undoes the mod, or undoes. So flash that, it will take about half a second to install um, because it's such a small file. And then once it's done with that, press go back and then reboot the system. And what it will do is reboot the phone and then you're pretty much good to go. So that's about it for this video guys. Hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, leave a like. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, you can leave them below as well. If you have any uh, suggestions for a future Android video, or if you'd like to see more of these Nexus 5 videos, please let me know. So I'll just quickly here unlock the phone so you can see what I did, which is the soft key to the bottom there. And that's about it for this video, guys. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. This is the Hacker 0007, and I'm signing off.